Hello friends, welcome back and this is your friend Faraz Sheikh from If Sheikh Excel Master. And today we are going to talk about the new filter function in Excel. But before we begin our video, I would just like to let you know that filter functions are exclusively available for Office 365 users for Windows and Mac. And currently they are available only on Insider channel. And as per Microsoft, they are going to soon rolling it out to all the users. So let us jump and see how this filter function works. So this is our data sets of all the sales records for 2018 and we would just like to extract the sales what has been done by Sara. Earlier to extract such kind of an information, you need to write a complex array formula, which was not easy to remember. So here how it's work equals to filter. And if we write the filter function, it shows up three different arguments. One is array, include and if empty. Array is nothing but where we have wanted to extract the information from. So this is from our sales table. Yes, this is my range, what you can see. Comma, include is something is our criteria. You can even call it as a condition. So if my criteria is meeting the salesperson equals to Sarah, then pull that information. So I'm going to select the salesperson equals to Sarah. Comma, if I don't found Sara, then see me no data. You can give any text, it's an optional one. Close parentheses. Now watch my friends, as I hit enter, wow, we got all the information related to Sara. This is super cool. Remember my friends, earlier when you need to write such kind of things, spend a lot of time you'll drag all the formula all the way put it down use if error put blank no more those stuff you just simply use the filter function and it will do the job for you now if you look down the formula has been grayed out over here you can see there's nothing in this formula i cannot edit it over here but in this cell i can make some changes to my formula but why are these grayed out? My friend's Excel engineering team has designed these dynamic arrays in such a beautiful way that when you select the data set, it will automatically spill the information. So you don't need to worry about putting the formula all the places. Excel will do it for you. Now, let me add uh, the total over here. So we will have a nice total see the sales and this is total wonderful so now this looks good now let's bring the information for tim that's cool tanya that looks good for us oh my god we got an error what is this this looks something new to us spill uh-huh well in Excel, this is a new error, which is called as a spill error. So when you are constructing any dynamic array formula, if any text is obstructing that formula, then you will get the spill error. So let me remove this total and let us delete this. But still I can see there is a spill error. The reason why my friends, I have merged the cells. So make sure that there is no merging in your cells. So we are going to say unmerge. Boom, that's the information we were looking for. Sales for Faraz, we got it. And as soon as I hit unmerge, it has taken the information. So now let us look back to Tim. And again, let us look for us. Wow, we got all this information. Earlier, you need to remember such kind of complex formulas to do this kind of stuff. But now this filter function will do everything for you. So very important thing, my friends, there's no obstruction in your data set. Otherwise, you will get the wrong information. So let me show it to you again for us control enter. And we got the spill error again because the text for us is obstructing that formula to spill out this information. So we're going to delete it. And here we got again. So let us assume that you and me, we are extracting the information for the East region. I'm going to go to the cell where I have written the formula. And now I'm just going to put it, this one into the parentheses and I'm going to apply my other condition or you can see criteria by multiplying 
which will convert this into a boolean expression which is true and false where the criteria is meeting as true it will pull the information so i'm going to say open parentheses my sales region is equal to east and close parentheses enter wow this is super cool west region we got the information for the west region look for tim well tim looks good he has one sales in the west region let us look for the south region unfortunately there is no data so this is how we write the filter function in excel you can even use the sort function and you can sort that information the way you liked it in this video i was just concentrating on the filter function so before we end our video let me add some sample data to our data set and just watch this area how the dynamic array is going to pick up those information bingo so there is no restrictions as you add data to your data set it will automatically get update so let us remove this south region from here and as soon as i delete i will get the information as no data because remember my friends we have put our criteria based on two conditions once both the criteria are met it will extract the information if our criteria was based on one condition then we would have got the sales of for us and to handle such situation i'll be showing it to you in my future videos and now you know what you have to do you have to share this video like it and you have to hit the subscribe button for the latest updates signing off for today your friend faraz sheik from f sheik excel master have a great day happy learning